Hello there friends, Harsh here back with yet another easy tutorial at Robotech. And in today's video by seeing my screen you must have guessed that we are going to use the Volumeo image to uh, flash it onto the SD card and then boot into it using the Raspberry Pi. So what is Volumeo? So let us understand it with an example. Suppose you have got a laptop and a mobile with you and you want to play songs and the songs are on a pen drive. So you have plugged in the pen drive onto your laptop and then you are playing the songs but suddenly the laptop's charging gets over and the laptop is switched off now you don't have any other work so you decide to listen the songs using the phone and you basically you are using a speaker so you have to disconnect the speaker connect it with your uh, mobile and then plug out the pen drive put it into your mobile and things like that so what volume it does is that it allows us the raspberry pi to detect the songs from a pen drive and uh, mass NAS drive network attached storage device and then it allows us to play the songs on the speaker connected to the Pi using any of the devices on your home network so the Pi gets connected to your home network suppose your Wi-Fi uh, home network and then you plug in the pen drive containing the songs now you are on the laptop you have to come to this web browser go to this one website that we will see later and that on that website we will have to play the song and then if the laptop gets switched off just open your phone connect to the home network again go to the web browser go to that website and you can continue the same song because the pen drive is connected to the uh, raspberry pi and as well as the speaker so that's the thing that volume you does so this link i will leave in the description below you will have to download the image for the volume for, for raspberry pi pc or asus tinker port. of course we are using a raspberry pi so we'll be downloading it for the raspberry pi by clicking on the download button here you will get the link to this in the description below so now let us use the raspberry pi imager to uh, flash the uh, i will just provide it with administrative permissions so we'll have to use it to uh, flash the image onto the sd card so i'll choose my 32 gb sd card that is formatted and then here we'll scroll to the bottom most part and you have to select a custom img from our thing uh, from our laptop or our computer so i'll go to my computer i know where i have stored it so i'll just go there and select on the zip file as you all can see zip is accepted so you don't have to extract this just select the zip file and click on open over here and then we can go with write now this says that all the existing data will be erased as it will format the device so i'll just allow it by clicking on yes and let the process work so i'll stop the recording and be back after the writing process is done so now as you all can see that the uh, volume UI has been flashed successfully to the H SDHC card now we can remove the SD card from the reader so now let us do that we will close the thing now I will just remove the SD card plug it into my raspberry pi and then power it on so now the flashing process is successfully done I have powered on my raspberry pi and it took about 6 minutes for the first boot of the raspberry pi so volume UI takes about 6 minutes as I told just now and this uh, we boot uh, headlessly into the volume you think so how to get to know that it has been successfully booted or not so there is a green light on the raspberry pi that is usually uh, flashing when the booting process is going on and it stops flashing as soon as the booting process is done so just keep a look for about after about four to five minutes after you have powered on the raspberry pi after the flashing stops you all can go to the wi-fi list and check if you get this volume you thing up here it means that you have successfully booted into it now just I will just disable connect automatically because this is the first time we are doing for setup procedure. So I will just connect to it and the password it will be volumeo2. So this is the password as you all can see. So I will just connect to it now. That's a hotspot that it has provided for headlessly booting into it. So let it be discoverable. Now after we connect sometimes uh, it automatically redirects us to this website here of volumeo. So I'll just cross this out and then open a new tab to show you all if you are not automatically redirected where we have to go. So we have to go to volumeo.local. So let's go to volumeo slash local dot local as you can see. And here we'll go to this website where we will complete the setup procedure. So here it is now telling us to select the language that is English. I'll click on next of course and unique name for device now whatever name you will give according to that website will be available so now it is volumeo.local as you all can see now if i change the name something like pi so it will become pi.local pi or robotech if i give it then robotech.local something like that but i tend to forget things so i'll just let it be volumeo 
and then hit on next so now here we have an option for output that is how we want the audio to be outputted from the raspberry pi so if you have an i2s dac device then you will have to click on uh, select the toggle button to yes or to no so what basically i2s dac is so it's basically like some i2 dac devices are those that help to connect the computer and the audio device together so now there are different i2 sdac options such as uh, adaf root pi hat is there many are there as you all can see so if you all have one you will have to select yours by checking if it is supported over here so just check if you all have one i don't have such fancy things i'll just go with no and then if you don't have i2 sd dac device there are two audio output options either through hdmi output or through headphones headphones that is the 3.5 mm audio jack of the raspberry pi now my speaker supports 3.5 mm audio jack so i'll just select that and then click on next now do we want the full set of options or just a simplified set of options of course we are developers so we will go with full set of options because we just need to tinker with some settings always so now instead of connecting to this volume your network every time we can uh, connect the raspberry pi to the home network or in my case this is the name of the home network so you'll have to enter your password and then connect to it so that the raspberry pi connects to that and instead of connecting to volumeo you can use your home network only to access everything so i'll just type in my password and then click on connect so unit will connect to network samir when the first setup is uh, the first setup is completed so this is correct now so i'll click on next so now it is telling to add your music we can connect a usb drive or click on the button below to add our nas device so if you have a nas where the audio devices are saved you all can click here on add new drive and then insert the details of this thing and then so that you will can be able to access the files from the nas drive for me it is the pen drive so i'll just uh, insert it later part in the later part of the video next final things are there so it's just telling us that it's ready to play so now if you all want you like their services you all can always donate to them now we'll go to the account section by clicking here so now this will restart the thing wireless restart as you all can see now the page will reload because we'll have to change the network to samir because volume you will no more be available as we connected it to the home network so the hotspot will be switched off so i'll just connect to my home network and reload so after this is successfully done we'll again go to the new web browser give it a few seconds for the raspberry pi to reboot and then we'll go to the volumeo.local website just give it another minute or so let's check if it is done as you all can see it is successfully done here you can sign in i signed in automatically i don't know how yes that things were saved for me so i had saved it on chrome my details login details for volumeo so it logged me in automatically so you all can change plan they have some paid plans also some settings to be edited perhaps you all want to add a profile photo etc here i will now show you all how the thing works i will just connect my pen drive to the raspberry pi as you all can see it reloaded and then in the music library you all can go to usb here there is this pen drive that i have and there is this my friend has played the music of titanic as we know the famous thing so i have told him specially to play it for me so that i can demonstrate to you all and not get up stuck up in some copyright issues so he has played it on his guitar by himself in this video so i'll be using his song thanks to him so yes bro thanks if you are going to watch the video ever so i'll just play it now and now i will show you all by demonstration how what i to explain while explaining volume you what i te was telling you all how it works so now i am playing from my laptop as you can see you will be able, able to hear it now Now suppose at this stage the your laptop gets shut down. Suppose let's suppose mine I can't shut it down. So now I will show you all how to do it. Uh, connect it using your phone 
so i'll just share the screen of my phone in the top right corner over here just give me a second and i will be back i am not able to display it on my phone so i'll add a uh, recording of the phone at that i will be recording screen recording of the phone till that time we'll check the ip address of the pi so we can access it from the mobile so to the uh, do that i will use the angry ip scanner and click on start the scanning option so it will scan a few things so as you all can see at 192.168.1.36 i of my volume you so i'll just quit from here and now what you will be seeing is the screen of my phone so i will just start the recording on my phone and put it over here like this so you will also see how the changes happen on this website which is being displayed on my laptop so now i'll open chrome i will first start recording on my phone so this is my phone as you all can see i am connected to my home network samir so i'll here open up the chrome window and in chrome i will open a new tab type in the ip address of the raspberry pi that we just got 192.168.1.36 as you all can see and i will be redirected to this volume you page as you all can see the screen that was on the uh, laptop has come up on the lap mobile and i can just continue from the 29 second mark as you all can see it was 29 only so i'll scroll down and play now you will hear the again continuation of the guitar played by my friend to control the volume from here as you can see here i am increasing the volume de decreasing it and uh, the volume also changes on the laptop over here as you will see it's going up 100 i can decrease it and it simultaneously changes so basically now let us see a few settings i'll just pause it i'll stop the recording of the phone and now we will here see some settings of the volume you to do that we can go to settings over here and here you all can change the theme as you all can see some different themes are available now we are on this jazz fest you all can go to morning some different themes are there background color is there some other things are also there again go by going to settings we can change the network that we are currently connected to set up an alarm go make the raspberry pi go to sleep uh, you all can change the sources from which the Uh, media is being audio files are being supplied to the raspberry pi also using the plugins you can install some plugins like podcast and spotify to connect your account to that and then play it all over your home network so basically it's very good thing so we have successfully finally created a volume your server so don't forget to like share subscribe and hit on the notification icon to stay tuned to more such interesting projects thank you